Yo, what's up? More from Wonder Souls. It was a long time ago that I did an update. Um, some CDs I want to show you guys. Um, CDs I bought before uh, the thing happened with the car. Um, yeah, uh, recent purchases, pretty recent. Um, I think one of the last updates of the year, uh, probably. Um, yeah, five albums um, from different places. Um, the most uh, of it are, yeah, they're all black metal. So if you don't like black metal, um, sorry for that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's like that. Sorry. Um, five albums. Uh, the first two I bought at Indie. Uh, recordings from Norway and this was um, during the Black Friday sale so everything was half price so I took advantage of that and bought two albums from that label um, first up is the first EP by Gehenna which is called First Spell which is this one this is of course a reissue um, the original 1994 album, um, yeah, and they added some demo material and material from the first EP, I think, uh, the 93 EP. Um, some saw the first spell as an album, but uh, during the playing dur dur uh, duration, I think it's not an album, but CD back <coughs> a bit better. Um, yeah, classic Norwegian black metal with some melody here and there. Nothing special. Um, uh, stuff that look. Hey, it's something new. Um, it's all done before, uh, later, and whatever. Um. It's pretty decent, uh, one of the better albums by uh, Gehenna, um, I'm more of the black metal period, so um, it was during the mid time they used more death metal influences, um, that's the part I like less uh, in this band. <coughs> Excuse me, got a call here. Anyways, um, nice release. Um, Glad I have it in my collection and that only for 5 euros, you can't complain here, great stuff. Um, next up is a third album by the band Vreit, or Vreet or whatever, how do you pronounce it, it's uh, Eat Creek. I uh, got to know this band by their second album Pitch Black uh, Brigade, um, that was an awesome album. and. Um, yeah, kept on following um, them since uh, the time. Um, yeah, I really like this album, but never got around to pick this up. And uh, now was the time. Only five euros, so I bought this at Indie Recordings. Also a reissue. Doesn't bother me. Um, quality black metal. I think they are from Norway, if I'm not mistaken, could be Sweden, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, awesome stuff. Um, I think they're from Norway. Um, third album, like I said, um, yeah, pretty decent raw, um, fast paced, mid paced, black metal. Um, no fancy keyboardy thing stuff just here and there they're um, groovy not a lot uh, just overall decent record um, yeah nice Norwegian uh, black metal fried with e -click. great stuff <coughs> next up are two uh, releases I bought at Discogs um, only for very cheap um, 
And when when I looked with their worth on uh, sale there on Discogs, I thought, yeah, I really need to grab this because they are uh, more worth than the seller is selling them for. So um, yes, I grabbed, took advantage of that. Um, this is a first album by Non-Servian, but between light and darkness. Swedish black death metal um, from the 90s. Awesome stuff. Um, they released two albums and this is the first one. Uh, they also released an album in 1998 called uh, Necrotical or something like that. Um, anyways, great release. Awesome quality, not fancy new, uh, something new, but good quality black death metal. Um, straightforward stuff. And there's a handsome melody and yeah great 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 to listen to um, nice hooks here and there and um, some of the songs are actually a bit um, rememberable um, original was released by Invasion Records um, a label um, that is disbanded for a long time but I still want to have some stuff from that label because they have released in the past some very cool stuff and, and stuff that is hard to get could be pricey also, uh, as also as well, but um, this is a real issue by Black Diamond, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, early reissue, not uh, later. It's pretty old uh, recordings of um, release. Um, also around that period, um, distributed by Hell Disc Distribution. Don't know that, but um, yeah, pretty awesome uh, stuff and um, definitely worth checking and giving it your time if you are to black death metal from Sweden. Um, you know just the real how it sounds all uh, back in the day. Um, what did you release in 97 and like I said and um, yeah definitely glad I come across this. Um, next up is the first album by Siebenburgen, um, this is Loria, um, also original from 1997 and this one is released by Napalm Records. Um, nice vampiric themed black metal, um, this is the first album like I said. Um, also have the third album in the collection, it's called The Liptum if I'm not mistaken. Um, really like that. Um, I did, saw this for a really cheap price. I thought I must grab this. And again, it's more worth than I bought it for. So I'm happy. It doesn't bother me. Um, great stuff. Nice black metal. Um, from Sweden. Um, great stuff. They released a lot of more albums. Um, I also think they are split up right now, but could be wrong. Um, yeah, I think they have at least six albums or something in the vein like that. Um, anyways, uh, like not albums unlike more as the others. Um, there are some lesser albums, but um, this is definitely the good one. Um, great stuff. Um, the woman on front is the girl who wrote the lyrics on this album and um, not the female singer who is on this, um, it's another girl. Uh, anyways, great stuff, um, Siebenburgen, if you don't know them go check them out, I will put links in the description for all the things so you can listen and find out if you like it or not. Um, first album from 1997, uh, Lore, great stuff. Um, last album I bought online, um, I think at a distro, I don't know, this is from Agonia Records, uh, this is the latest album by Aesop, and this is uh, V or 5, Inside the Scriptures, and this is their last album, uh, the newest one, and the last album they're gonna release because they just recently split up, so um, yeah, great stuff, definitely stuff that needs to be in your year list trust me this is very good black metal awesome riffing um 
also some, some more standardy but also some weird twist to the guitar riffs that I really like to get, get a really weird feeling from the, this sometimes um, cold black stuff um, this was a band from France and this is of course their fifth album um, uh, sadly they split up really uh, I have an older album but I have the second album uh, as well it was a great album and this is no difference this is even one of the best albums they have released um, yeah great stuff um, if you like some raw, raw black metal but done with just with a little twist to it in the guitar sound probably you will dig this great awesome black metal um, France is definitely a country you need to uh, um, watch out for um, with their black metal bands because a lot of bands do their own thing although they are most of the time really raw um, not always but most of the time um, anyways this is great stuff um, if you don't know this please check it out if you're a black metal fan this needs to be in your year list so check it out a soft with that album great stuff um that's it for this update um like i said probably one of the last updates i'll do this year um all the videos are coming year list is coming um still working on that uh in which comes uh, which album comes where it's pretty difficult um pretty occupied also with work worries about the car um, other stuff um, i do my best to get the year list before the end but you never know it could be the january but um i hope not um anyways Thank you for the, watching this video and if you like it give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. Um, if you want to see more just subscribe and push the little bell and you get all the updates. Um, that's it for this video, links will be in the description for all the things I showed and the back of it, uh, the intro music and la la la. Um, go support the bands, buy the original, stay metal and Hope to see you guys with the next video. Ciao.